God, that guy's got goosebumps. Do you hear that? I feel it pulling over to the yes. I do too. Yes over here. Right there, dude. Right fucking there. That was a voice. What the fuck? Oh my fucking god, dude. I just got chills. Tonight's investigation, the mysterious Monroe House in Hartford City, Indiana. It is considered one of the most haunted locations in America let alone being number one most haunted in the state of Indiana. The house is a place of mystery, darkness, and strange occurrences. It has a reputation for occult rituals and violent paranormal activity that has sent visiting investigators running off into the night. The history of the Monroe House is murky at best. Records say that the first foundation was laid for the house in the 1860s, while legends maintain that the house has had a bad atmosphere to it since the beginning. Occupants were chased from the house by strange sights and sounds and shadowy figures that made their lives unbearable. Truth or fiction? No one surviving can say, but records do say that no one lived in the house for more than a year at a time during its first century in existence. In the 1990s, rumors spread of occult activity in the house, which some believe caused an increase in strange activity. Previous owners have been chased out of the building by shadowy figures devoid of human features. Unexplainable fires have spontaneously manifested in the basement. Disembodied voices echo throughout the hallways, and even a number of mysterious deaths have occurred inside the Monroe House. Researchers point to former tenants fiddling with occult rituals in the 90s as a potential cause of the Demon House's notorious activity. But others say that the strange phenomenon began as early as the 30s when the house was owned by a Belgian family who began to report ghostly visitations in the home, in which during this short time period, there seemed to be actual reports of child abuse, which also led to the stories of a child being drowned to death in the upstairs bathtub and then apparently dumped in a nearby well. This leads me to truly believe why there are so many reports of children's spirit activity within the location. In August of 2016, Nick Groff, former member of the hit TV show Ghost Adventures, along with Katrina, investigated the house later to discover human remains in the basement crawl space. This was immediately turned over to the local police department, and even the experts of the local force couldn't determine who the remains were or how it actually happened. To this very day, no one will truly know the answers as to how the Monroe House came to be or what actually resides within the walls of the supposed demon house. But that's why I'm here tonight to experience this bizarre haunted phenomenon head on all right so we are starting here 
Yeah, we're starting on an adventure, adventure here at the, uh, the Monroe House in uh, Hartford City, Indiana. Um, this might get weird. I don't know. There's a lot of crazy shit that's happened here. So we got, first of all, stand up. <laughs> we got fucking Josh, aka Haunting with Hodge. Say hello. What's up? Stuck the beer. Um, this is the first video I've done with him. If you want to say something too, you can answer your video as well. So you can say whatever you want. You good? I'll okay. catch it. So okay, so we got Josh. We got Kyla's behind the camera over there. So actually, before I do that, this is how I start my investigations, and I think it works quite well. Randy knows, John knows. So I'll start it off, and everyone just follow after me because I think this is what I usually do. So my name is Tommy Tombstone, and I'm here to investigate your house tonight. I know there's a lot of weird things that's happened here, and we're trying to get all the answers because we really don't know all the answers. So, if you could make yourself known and make your presence known to us, that'd be great. We're not here to harm you in any way. I just noticed that background. Yeah, I'm telling you. So, very nice. Yeah, I understand. So, shit, I should. All right. Got a recorder going. Hello? Um, my name's Josh. Where it works. I've traveled a long ways to talk to you tonight. I'm very interested in hearing what you have to say, what's still hidden about this place, what secrets are yet to be uncovered, the answers, all that good stuff. Thank you for having me in tonight. I'm just here to talk and get to know you. I've come here to learn about you. I see you've turned that flashlight on. Thank you for doing that. There you I've come here to learn about you and maybe uncover some of the mysteries that have been in this house. And maybe even see you. We've all traveled a long way to be here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to spend the night here. Um, hopefully, my goal is always to gather more evidence that you do exist and that you can't be denied. So I hope that you can make yourself known to me. message for any loved ones that you want to come up and let us know about and we can go ahead and tell them. It's uh, pretty, pretty much it. And we saved the worst for last. Thanks. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm John. I'm man. Uh, I also traveled to get here like everyone else. Um, I get scared easily so you'll probably want to mess with me all night. Uh, Flashlight just turned on right after you said that. Yep. So we got the flashlight already turning on. Uh, if you're here with us right now, could you turn that off, please? All the way off. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Instant. Love Beautiful. It. Love it. So also I got cat ball. I'm gonna turn this on right here. There's another one over here as well. Bada boom, bada boom. If you come up and touch these balls, they'll light up just like you did the flashlight. They're not gonna hurt you. And I don't have Josh. You want to turn on the, the good old rim pod over there in the, the darkness. So I'm going to set this up. Get some lighting over here. Explain what that does to them, Josh. All right. So basically, this little disc-shaped object on the ground, all you have to do is approach it. It'll let us know that you are right here, right here in this area, and that you have come to see what we're up to talk to us. It will not hurt you. It does make a loud noise. Um, but I'll give you a quick example. That's all it does. 
what was that? All right. Beautiful. If that goes off, we're gonna be well. I guess the lights will turn on. So the light went on on that again. Yep. So now we're gonna conduct a Ouija board session. Try to open the open the fucking pits, my guy. We're gonna open this pit up. Pits. <laughs> so Kyle's never done one of these before, so he wanted to do this. We also got a spirit talker as well. Uh, you're never seeing this. It's like a word bank, kind of like the ovulus. So. And we'll start spitting out words. So, Randy, I'll have you start because you are the best at starting these. Got a K2 going. Flashlight on. Got plenty. Thank of, you so much. Plenty of power. Turn here. that off, please. All the way. Turn it off. You want us to do this. All the way. We're almost there. Thank you. All right. So, we are here to conduct a Ouija board session and we want to find out some answers so we're gonna open up the circle if you guys would all like to and you have permission to come through this board and speak to us we're gonna ask, ask you a series of questions this is another way for you to come forward and make your presence known to us, along with these other devices. You we saw me. Did I see you? Someone, I mean, you I saw, saw someone you. earlier. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was probably just So, far. which way was it? It was I always forget. Uh, counterclockwise. Oh, you start, just start, because I didn't <laughs> So, yeah. We're opening this circle to talk to any spirits that may be residing in the Monroe house. Flashlight. Thank you so much. Has anyone died in this house? Let me rest. Let you rest. Well, we're going to be here for the night, so we're trying to communicate with you. I don't know. Should we close the how, circle? How, how many spirits are here with us? Could you tell us on the board, please? Jessica. Jessica? So is that just one spirit here, or how many are there? There's numbers on this board you can move this to. Is this a little girl spirit? Is this a child? Is the temperature sensor? Yep, the temperature. Does it turn blue, or what? It just makes that sound. The flashlight's on. Is this a child spirit that's in here with us? Could you come over here and turn this flashlight off if this is a child? Turn it all the way off. Yep, almost there. All the way off. Thank you. Very nice job. Are you able to use this board at all? If so, can you go to yes? Put all your energy into the board. You'll be able to communicate with us better through this board. I, I feel cold. I yeah, do too. I feel cold. Yes. I do too. Yes, over here. What? Over here. Yes, over here. Yes, over here. What? Over. So she's saying that for whoever could be over there. Could and be not, over there. Not right here. That's why we're not. Are you watching from a distance? Oh my god. So they're just not. They're they're with us. They're just not using the Ouija using board. Using the board. If you're still with us, give us another sign. He's over there. Mm-hmm. Trying to get that. Oh, that's, it's that's shifting. The energy out. Yeah. Can Thank you touch you. it? Touch touch the, the antenna, please. Thank you so much though. Flashlight. We might have two. I don't know. Unless they're running back and forth. Yeah, like, really like Are there two spirits here? Yes or no? Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Dude. What's that noise? I think it's a, yeah, it's like a So show. this is the one year anniversary of a baby's death. And it just said infant. I just got goosebumps. And there's two infant. Look at the, you gotta get a shot of his goosebumps. Yeah, look at those. Like, holy shit. That's... There's two infant graves outside, too. I don't like to ask you this question, but is this the day that you died a year ago? <clears throat> or, sorry, is this the anniversary of your death? Is that your mother's name? That was quick. That was a flash. Is the little baby or infant or child still here with us? Around. They're around? No, oh my. It's instant, dude. So they're not right here, but they're around us, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. Where are you at in this room? Can you show us? You're over here. Thank you. Can you can you make a noise for us? Can you like No fucking way, dude. <laughs> we know you're there, but can you touch that red light? Let's Open see what out. happens if we close this out. Do you want to close it out? Yeah, yeah try to close it out. Alright, so it'd be this way, right? Yeah. We are now closing out this circle. We no longer wanna talk with any spirits through this board. So we are saying goodbye. 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 Agitated. Agitated as soon as we get off the board. Alright, so two things just bizarre just fucking happened. Uh, John, explain the first one. So, uh, I was, you know, shooting the last segment in the video, uh, the Ouija board. And then I went into another room and sat down, and I was gonna just shoot something real quick while I was in there, and my camera wouldn't turn on, Abs just like a brick. We were freaking no out. No starting up, no lights come on, no nothing. Totally dead. It was a... Uh, this never had... This has never had... Never happened since yeah. I got this camera. And uh, hopefully, I'm gonna... I'll go over the footage, obviously, in post-production and see if anything weird happened, but weren't yeah. you asking for something to sit in that chair in the reflection? Uh, I w hadn't asked yet, but I could see my reflection. That's why I sat down. I was going to film the reflection and see if I could, you know, just see anything come up. Just, just but now it's curious. working, so I don't know. Thank that was God. odd. And then this. Now, anyone can say, oh, someone just moved that fucking thing. This doll... Well, I and, and we should even mention, we're not sure. None of us moved it, but there are two more of us. I didn't touch it. it you know, could have been, you know, Randy or... Uh, uh, yeah. But this doll, which I've been carrying a lot tonight, was sitting over here. And we just noticed that it was just sitting upright like this. And, not to mention, the reason I noticed it is because I was standing here, working on my camera, you know, plugging it in, taking out the batteries, messing with it, trying to get it working again. I looked up and the fucking thing is standing there staring at me. So... So far it has been very weird. We haven't even filmed that much yet, so... We later asked Kyle and Randy about the doll being moved, in which they both stated that they too did not touch the doll at all. This next portion of the video takes place within the infamous Monroe basement, and almost all the evidence that was captured was mostly audio, so headphones are highly recommended. All right, so John and I are down in the infamous basement. Where? Right here, as you can see. This is where Nick Groff crawled into and found bones. It was right in here. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to go in there. Let's see if I can give a little show. Kind of what it looks like in there. I got some like carpet in here, which is weird. So I got a cat ball here. Turn that sucker on. I also already have a rim pod in this little corner back here. 
and then I will shut this or turn this music box on on the steps. You're gonna hear it calibrate. Get my recorder out. EVPs are a must. So, you already know me, I'm Tommy. This is John. We are here what down. What? I swear I just heard a breath. We are here what down. We are here what down. I'm Tommy, this is John. We're trying to communicate with the spirits that are. Oh, Jesus. We're trying to communicate with any of the spirits that reside down here. I heard the, this is where a lot of the activity comes from. Is it true that someone found bones? Set this recorder down here. That someone found bones down in this basement. that someone found bones down in this basement. Is there someone here with us? Is there someone walking on these steps? I'm Tommy, this is John. We're trying to communicate with spirits that are... Oh, Jesus. We're trying to communicate with any of the spirits that reside down here. I heard the... This is where a lot of the activity comes from. Is it true that someone found bones? That someone found bones down in this basement? What was that? What was that? That someone found bones. That someone found bones down in this basement. That someone found bones down in this basement. Right there, dude. Right fucking there. That was a voice. That someone found bones down in this basement. I did. I did. Did you hear that? I Holy did. fucking shit, dude. Listen to this. Is it true that someone found bones? <laughs> that someone found mm -hmm. bones down in this basement? Did you hear it? I'll play it one more time. It says, I did. Found bones. Someone found bones down in this basement. Oh I God. did. Did you hear it? Yeah. So unfortunately, after these few strange audio anomalies that occurred, we didn't seem to pick up much activity for the remainder of our time within the basement. Although it still leads me to wonder if something was truly down there with us from the beginning, striving to let us know it was there, but perhaps not enough energy to provide more clear evidence. Regardless, what do you guys make of this audible affair? Let me know down in the comments below. Hi, I'm Tommy. And I like taking advantage of people. All right, all eyes are on me. Oh, I don't know.
investigation. I guess I don't even know what time it is. I don't need to pay attention. It's like one. Really? Ish. Wow. So. One ten. Obviously, here we have some sage. The big kicker about using this tonight, I mean, it is to I guess, protect you, cleanse you. But from past experiences, um, doing so mid investigation has actually given us more evidence, more, like, it makes them more, like, active. I don't know, I don't know what it does to them. Pisses them off. Yeah, maybe. it probably just upsets them, especially if something as this way through the left. So we're going to sage up. See what happens. Do it. Let's just, right. yeah, let's sage it. Go. Sage we'll start burning this thing, and I guess I'll walk around and just kind of give you all the little... Ooh. Smack me dirty with it. I'll smack you dirty with some sage. Someone there? You can keep stepping in front of that music box. I didn't even have a chance to set up. Who's staying in front of that? You can come in here, you don't have to be afraid. Just here to communicate with you. We're upstairs. This is the uh, another Ouija board room. They also have dolls, all sorts of assorted dolls. Um, now I got sidetracked to what I was gonna do. That's weird. It was going on for a second. What are you doing? Come in here with us. Be afraid. I'm gonna set this recorder right here too. This is recording. Yeah. Who's standing in that hallway? You seem kind of timid. There's this little ball. Touch that ball. What was it? Are you still here with us? Yeah. We occupy this land. Whoa. That's weird. We occupy this land. Yeah, I know this is your home, but we're just trying to get to know you and talk to you. Could you tell us who you are? There's a little ball out there too if you want to touch it. As well as this little ball right here next to these dolls. Yeah, come in here. Come in here, please. You don't have to be afraid. Can you go over in the other room and touch that, that little device with that antenna on it? What? What's that? I didn't touch that. It was hard. How close did you get to it? Like that. Stop. We'll like buy it. Mmm, maybe. You have power, okay. Can you can you use some of that power or energy and touch this ball on this little rocking chair? This horse rocking chair. What? 
Thank you. Thank you so much. So you're here with us. Could you do that again for us, please? Trapped here. You're trapped in here. Are you trapped upstairs? Oh my god, I just got goosebumps, dude. Thank you. Are you trapped in one of these dolls? Major goose. Dude, there's something moving around over here. Like I heard footsteps or something. Are you a little kid? You like that little rocking chair, don't you? I really appreciate this. Are you the child that? Are you the child that was abused in this house? Was that you? Watch yourself here. Was that a little too far? Watch yourself here. How many of you are up here? Is there one or two? Is there multiple of you? So there's two. There's one out there. And one. Is there one still by the rocking chair? Is there one still in here with us? Can you can you touch the ball again, please? After getting some very intelligent responses from what appeared to be a child spirit, it then proceeded to get very quiet upstairs. So we packed our gear up and rendezvoused back downstairs with the rest of the crew to regroup. This last portion of the video is very emotional for me, and it truly shook me to the core. Here's what happened. Rolling. Online. Yeah, they confirmed. Blame. That. Blame. Blame. Uh, <gasps> did it go off? It's going off. Nice. Thank you, so you're here with us. This marble. I knew you would touch that ball on that rocking chair again. You like a salt bean in here, don't you? Could you touch the ball one more time for us? So if you want us to uh, start this Ouija board session so we can contact you. I think that's a yes. That's that a clear yes. That's a, Thank yeah. you so much. Glad to have you back. That's why I'm just holding this now. Alright. Suffered. Suffered. They were saying they were trapped earlier. Remember, John? They were saying they were trapped. So, like, they're like stuck up here or something. I don't know. Thank you. It's freaking open. We haven't even opened it up yet. Yeah. It's, it's like as soon as we came. Oh. Oh wow! Two and the cat ball. Oh man, everything. This was like. Are you gonna film with one hand? And yeah. Do, I mean, like with the other hand. Could you that's what I'm about to do. Yeah, because I was like, screw this. this. Thank you so much. Can you turn both those flashlights off, please? Hold on. Right out of you over here. Are you? Now the other one. Turn the other flashlight off. Stand over when we're doing this. In case it does these on. No, no, it's from there. I love when that cat's like Disaster. Yeah. No fucking way, dude. Oh my god. Oh wow. Uh oh. What time is it? Is it almost three? We're ramping up, guys. That was funny. This the word, dude. How like, close to three is it? It's loving the cat. Ball. Oh my god, dude! I Both flashlights, it's... that, the cat ball. We're going off. Thank now. you so much. Yep. How close to three is it? I can't check. Close it. enough. <laughs> I know it was like two thirty when we were. Is down this a there. child spirit? It's two fifty one. Are you able to communicate with us through this board now? If so, can you can you turn both flashlights on? Turn both of them all the way on. Wow, that's it. <laughs> the time has come. Mm -hmm. We opened up the pits. We did. The freaking pits. 
Is this ain't more now. Or not more, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, where are we? Religious. What? Religious. You're religious. This is Monroe House. Monroe House. I don't know if doing this because it's like they know that it has potential to. Well, so is it? Is it a demon? No. Did you see it? So the spirit talker spits out the word religious. And then right after that, John starts talking about demons as a few of us continue to say the word demon. Immediately after this, a dark shadow-like figure moves across the back wall moving from right to left as if it was literally gliding across the room. Now I'm not one to instantly declare this bizarre phenomenon as a shadow figure, ghost, or demon, but it definitely was perplexing to say the least. From my point of view, you had Josh directly in front of me, and to the right of him was Randy. To the left was my cameraman John, and then to the right of me was Kyle, and they were all sitting down. The only explanation for a possible debunking was Kyla, who in which was to the right of me as well, and she was sitting down against the wall. So you tell me what you guys make of all of this. Right is no, left is yes. They said it right into that, no, that'd be... Yes or one left. <laughs> I don't know. Let's are, you let's the, do. are you the demon of Martin House or Monroe? Monroe House. Sorry, it's probably gun head right now. No. no. Left has always been yes, and right has been no. Are you the infant child that's been up here communicating with us? Yes. yes. Can you come up and touch this ball now? Touching it earlier. And all our eyes are on you, so yeah. Your name. Your name. Both lights. Both lights. Do we need to restate our names? My name is Kyle. My name is Tommy. I'm John. Josh. What was that? What was that? Yeah, that might have been me. Yeah, I'm, I'm Randy. And I'm Kyla. Might be a little bit hungry. And we're right. here to communicate with you once again. And it seems like you're very much up here, very much so up here with us. Joy. Joy. Does this bring you joy? Yes or no? Answer on the board. Thank you. Can you move this planchette, this little thing we're touching right now? Can you move this for us now? Thank you for touching the ball again, though. Again. I know you like that rocking chair. It was me. It was, it was me. <laughs> what? And then it. Ah! It was me. So cool. But who is me? Yeah, what's your name? What is your name? Is it Matthew? Whoa. Are you moving that? No. <laughs> it just took off from from me. I didn't even expect what to go anywhere. What letter is it on? D. <clears throat> D. Spell out your name. Unlikely. If there's two spirits in here, can you turn both flashlights on for two? <clears throat> turn them both on. Oh, there's two. Two. Well, it was telling us two earlier, so I was like... Spiking? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Which yeah. one? This one? It's go yeah, it's going up to the up to the orange. And this is going off again. Yep. John, we got it. We got a cap hole. Oh, oh my oh. fucking god. Oh. Alright, that's it. That's that's it wants me alone. You know what I was thinking? <laughs> Literally? I was like, it's gonna say alone. Like that's what I was thinking. 
that would make sense for who it wants to choose. Yeah. And it says alone. So you want Tommy alone then? Can yes. Oh my God. And the cat. It really wants you. It does. It wants you alone. All right, let's all go have a smoke break. Yeah. I, do you think we should go ahead and just knock out the uh, the solos? Evelyn. Evelyn. Yeah. Evelyn. Yeah. No. Right now. Right now. This is what we need to do right now. All the solos. Tommy. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's yeah, it's telling them that it wants. Are it. you gonna leave your camera up here? What should I do? Try whatever. Do you want me to leave the spirit talker just going? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to sit where? That might have been. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna be up here by myself. That's what you want. Great. How do you feel about that? Does that make you feel good? Yeah, ball ball. Yeah. Ball. Ah. Do you have a connection with Tommy? Terrifying. Terrifying. Great. <laughs> All right. Okay, all right. Now I'm saying, you're fine. All right. He goes, all right, all right. Shut up. Yeah, he's like, shut up. He's like, let me just do it. No, don't, don't. Leave me alone and don't talk it up. All right, ready? <laughs> yeah, do I got my recorder up here? Yeah, I got my recorder. All are you, right. you going to try to scare Tommy? What the fuck was that? Are you, right. you going to try to scare Tommy? What the fuck was that? Are you, right. you going to try to scare Tommy? What the fuck was that? I heard that too. Was that a girl's voice? That it was. was like a, what? Dude, all the hairs on my Where body. Where did that come from? Over Dude, here I, by oh, me. Oh, I just out there. Yeah. It said, uh -huh. Jesus. Yeah, this thing wants me. To, okay. Mike. 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 I'm worried about it. Wait. Who is the guy who found the bones? Well, I am wearing a Charm City shirt, and his name is Mike. His name is Mike. Has he been here? Yeah. What? Has he been here? No. All right. It's just kind of rough. Yeah. Not a big spike. Should I just sit here or like what? Yeah. Dude, dude, this is spiking. This is spiking now. Jesus. Can you keep touching that K2, please? Keep touching that K2 as well. Thank you. I'm not your mommy, but I can be your daddy. Right when you counted to... <sighs> Jesus. Protection. That's what I'm gonna need. Okay. Alright, get out of here. I'll just I'll do it. Alright, shit is literally hitting the damn fan right now. With all these devices. It's three in the morning. It's been confirmed that they want me down here by myself. There goes John, he's the last one. There's no one else up here. So I'm going to do a recorder once they all get downstairs. Ralph. Ralph. You guys still up here with me? Can you confirm by touching the cat ball again? Or turning on the lights? Can you make this cat ball light up again or one of these flashlights? What are you guilty of? Thank you. Can you touch this ball now? Where are you at? Are you attached to me? Thank you. So you, you, I'm trying to understand here. So you're trying to like, are you wanting to like follow me home or something? Why is it that you wanted me by myself up here? 
Why did you want me by myself? The church. What about the church? Can you spike? Can you touch that again? Give me a sign that you're still up here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you touch my hand? Can you touch my hand, please? Daddy. What the fuck? Oh my fucking god, dude. I just got chills. That just literally said... You think... Can you touch my hand, please? I can't be your dad. I'm sorry. But... I really appreciate you for interacting with me. I'm sorry that you had to go the way you did. I just want people to understand that you were here and you, you still live on past death. Make your voice known through this recorder, please. I'm gonna come back, all right? Terrible. Yes, I'm sorry, but I'm a little emotional. I don't really know what to think right now. I'll be back. I was left speechless after this investigation. After it said the word daddy through the spirit talker, I got so emotional I literally had to leave the house and go outside because I was so shook. This house is so full of mystery and surprises behind every corner that I don't believe anyone will ever truly figure out the real answer as to why this building is so active. Could it be because of all the apparent rituals that were held there back in the 90s? Or was it all of the possible deaths that occurred within the home? After experiencing this location for myself along with the others, even we couldn't fathom what may or may not have happened. What I can tell you is that this place is hands down the most active and intimidating location. Children's spirits are most definitely residing within the house and most likely roam the lonely halls upstairs. I personally seem to have a strong connection with at least one of them and they definitely changed my whole perspective on the term paranormal. As far as the whole demon house terminology goes, I didn't really pick up on much of that. What I did sense was there was a lot of heartbreak, turmoil, and desolation. These spirits are very intelligent and aren't afraid to let you know where they stand. All in all, this was such an incredible experience and I definitely plan to make a return. As always, I'm Tommy Tombstone and this was my investigation of the mysterious Monroe House.